Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, what a fraction looks like on a number line. Um, so what we have here is uh, we have at the start, we have zero. Okay, so this is actually zero to six or zero, just regular old zero. Um, now at the end of this is we have a six out of six, which is one whole. So if we were counting all the number lines in, in whole numbers, we'd count one, two, three, four, five, six. But what we have here is we have parts of a number that add up to a whole number. So if we were to label these parts, what we would say is that we obviously need to have six out of the six parts in order to have one whole. Well, what we have here is a number line that is broken into those six parts. So this would be one over six. This would be two over six. 3 over 6, 4 over 6, and 5 over 6, ultimately leading us to 6 over 6, or 1 whole. Okay, sticking with this number line, we're out of, uh, it's divided into 6s. Um, we're going to take a look at what we have here and what happens when we go beyond 1 whole. Um, so obviously on the number line, we would have 0, this would be 1, this would be 2. But how does this look when we're dealing with fractions? Well, it stays the same along here, 1, 6, 2, 6, and we just follow our regular order all the way up to 6, 6, or 1 whole. Now, as we go beyond that, we actually create what's known as improper fractions. 7 over 6, 8 over 6, 9 over 6, 10 over 6, 11 over 6, or 12 over 6. Well, this is actually uh, how we would order it on the number line. And when we get to this point, as you can see, 12 over 6 is really the equivalent of two whole numbers. Now, there's actually something else uh, that we should point out is that this line in between these numbers, it actually means divide. Okay, well if we had 12, for example, and we divided it by 6, we would end up with 2.